All right, welcome back to the channel, everyone. Thanks for stopping by. Today we're doing something a little bit differently. Um, we've been in the middle of that whole car wash soap test, right? Seeing which uh, soap performs best in a foam can and which one gets the most foam, right? Well, uh, recently a company reached out to me called Glovebox and they are a monthly detailing product subscription uh, box. Really cool products, uh, really cool kind of uh, backstory to them. And basically what they do is that it's, I think it starts at about $35 a month, $34.99 for your box, for your monthly subscription. Uh, you get between $60 and $95 worth of product, which is a fantastic value. It gives you a good opportunity to test out new products. Um, and basically you get between five and seven different products, towels, accessories, and things like that. So really cool. And I wanted to share with you guys my first box that I got. Um, I'm kind of hoping that we have some car wash soap in here that I can add into my test. I have one more video uh, that I want to do comparing uh, the soap tests. And then uh, from there, we'll, go, we'll pick the top four performers and do a final, final test with that. So I'm hoping there's one in here that I can add into the mix and, and test that one out as well. So let's go ahead and uh, pop this guy open. Again, it's called Glovebox uh, and it's gloveboxdetail.com. The guys at Glovebox were nice enough to reach out to me and they did offer me a code to give to you guys if you wanna check out a box. Um, code is just Detail Green. It's my company name based here in uh, Southern California and uh, that'll get you 20% off of your first box. So make sure to use that link uh, when you go to gloveboxdetail.com. Now let's jump into this thing. All righty guys, so I already cut the tape on this so we can just go ahead and pop it open. Right off the bat, we have a little card right on top, uh, deluxe welcome box and a step-by-step -step guide, which is really cool. So basically what they're doing is they give you a step-by-step -step process on what to do with your vehicle with the products that are given in the box. So step one, uh, take a deep breath. We're about to embark on a journey through automotive detailing world. It's kind of fun. They make it into a, a whole experience. So uh, first thing, vehicle wash from Jay Leno's garage. So really awesome guys. I'm excited about that. I'm going to use that in the next video. We're going to be doing our uh, soap tests. So I'll be adding that one into the mix. So uh, I'm not going to read through this entire card, but really cool. Just kind of steps. It takes you step by step through and shows you what pro products are in the box. So right off the bat, we'll open it up. Got a cool sticker from Glovebox. Right off the bat, we have a nice wash mitt, microfiber chenille wash mitt. Let's see here, let's just go ahead and check this thing out. Inside feels good. Sometimes there's kind of a seam down the middle of them, which I don't like. It kind of makes you like this inside of the mitt. And this one doesn't have it, it's just wide open. Feels great. Um, what, typically when I use these, I don't usually put it on my hand, um, but typically I'll just tuck this little guy inside so that it doesn't introduce any uh, scratches or marring to the car, and then use it as a normal, as a normal wash pad. So first things first, guys, the uh, microfiber wash mitt, really cool. So next up we have a microfiber towel. Let's just look at this thing here. Yeah, so it, it, this is the Eagle Edgeless 350 from the RAG company. Uh, if you guys are on YouTube and following detailing, you've obviously heard of the RAG company. They're a great company, makes amazing uh, microfiber towels. So there's that as well. Then we have a little applicator pad, uh, also from the RAG company. Then we have this really nice little brush, um, detail brush. I guess this is by Glovebox. It says Glovebox, detail matters. Let me go ahead and get you in focus here. And this is a really, really quality uh, brush. It's not, <laughs> yeah, it's super nice. Um, nice compact size, really, really nice. Fits right in your hand really easily. Um, it's nice and dense. Let me see if I can get any of these fibers to come out. That's kind of the biggest thing. And typically guys on a brand new one, you are gonna get some fibers that fall out, as, as, especially when you're using an all-purpose cleaner or something like that on it. But, um, you want to limit that as much as possible so you're not having to clean up after it. And this one is performing super well. I'm just grabbing and trying to get them out and nothing's coming out. So great little brush. Now we're going to go ahead and get into the products. We have three different bottles here. So let's go ahead and open up the first one. And right off the bat from Adams Polishes, we have CS3 Clean Shine Protect. Now CS3 is actually a three-in-one product. It's a ceramic infused waterless detailer. So um, after you wash your car, you can use this to go over it. It has SiO2 in it. Um, so you're giving protection. And uh, I, I haven't used this personally. I'm um, just kind of reading what's on the information of the bottle here. 
Um, but it seems like a really great product. I'm, ex I'm excited to check that out and actually uh, see how it works. Let me go ahead and open it up and just check the, the kind of viscosity of the, of the chemical. Yes. Yeah, everything looks good. Um, yeah, so that'll be an interesting one to try out. They also give you a trigger sprayer, so you can use it for that. Uh, next up, let's go ahead and open the next bottle, and it is Jay Leno's Garage Vehicle Wash. So, like I said, guys, I'm gonna be adding this into my soap, uh, foam cannon soap test. Uh, let's see here, it says, in a bucket, pour two to four ounces. Let's see if it says anything for a foam cannon. It says, great for use with foam guns and cannons. Doesn't show a dilution ratio for it uh, that I'm seeing. So that's fine and we're gonna use our usual two ounces in that test. So I'm gonna put this aside. I'm actually going to be filming that soap test right after I film this one. This is gonna go up first, but um, this will be in there, you'll see it. Okay guys, and now last but not least, we have our third bottle here. And it is Jack's Wax Tire and Trim Gel. So super, super nice. Um, it already comes with the dispensing cap. Um, this is gonna be, let's see here, I wanna smell. Hmm, I don't smell anything in particular that I can kind of put my nose on. It just smells kind of clean. Uh, it says, tire and trim gel is a premium water-based gel that creates a long-lasting high gloss shine to tires and exterior plastic trim. Um, now typically, I do use a water-based dressing, um, usually for tires and all that kind of stuff, but I get it a thinner consistency so that it's sprayable. This one's gonna be thicker, so you're gonna have to apply it by hand. Um, but that's kind of nice because you're, you're reducing your sling and all that kind of stuff, especially when you're applying it to tires. When you're applying it to trim, having a little bit of a thicker viscosity will be nice when you're conditioning your uh, uh, plastics and everything around the car. So, um, great product. Um, again, or a, a, a great concept at least. I've never used this product. I will be checking it out down the road, but for now, I, I like it. The box is, box is great. Like I said, for the Jay Leno's soap, I'm gonna be using that in my next soap test, but I have my 1969 Ford Fairlane sitting back here, and it's been getting pretty dirty. I, it's really just been sitting, and it's been, every once in a while I have to pull it outside, and I don't know if you guys can see this, but um, yeah, we got some, it's not really focusing too well for you here. But we've got some dirt and grime and stuff built up on here. There we go. And as you can see, maybe you can't see that actually. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to pick this up for you here guys, but it is difficult. But trust me when I say that it is not super clean. Um, it's definitely got some stuff in the paint, on the paint. Not necessarily in the paint. Um, it has been polished and everything, but on the paint for sure, as stuff is just sitting on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and check out the Adams Polishes CS3 along with the uh, Rad Company Eagle Edgeless 350 that they gave me. I'm gonna go ahead and work on a little panel of the, of the car and see how it works. This is just gonna be an initial impression of it. Um, obviously it says it's uh, SiO2 infused. I'm not gonna test, test the uh, longevity of that, but I'm just gonna test how it feels cleaning up the panel. Alrighty guys, so here we are with my 1969 Ford Fairlane. Again, we're gonna be using the CS3 that came in the glove box, uh, monthly subscription box. Now, right on the directions, uh, a little about the product. It says, Adam C3 is a culmination of three different uh, detailing concepts into one. CS3 offers the ability to clean, shine, and protect in, in an all-in-one spray ceramic product without having to use water or a hose. The CS3 allows for an easy spray, and wipe application while adding tons of gloss and a layer of ceramic uh, for protection. Use Adam CS3 when your vehicle is clean or dirty to, enha to enhance or maintain your finish. So it utilizes high quality cleaning surfactants. That's what's gonna make it safe to use even if the car is dirty. You spray it on, those surfactants are gonna encapsulate and, and lubricate um, so that you're not scratching the car as you're cleaning it. Uh, Water-based ceramic SiO2 protection. Waterless cleaning ability, streak-free spray and wipe formula adds a ton of gloss. So. Let's go ahead and check this out. So what I'm gonna do, guys, I'm gonna spray a little bit on the towel, I always like to do that. And then I'm gonna spray the panel, and as I'm wiping, I will kind of roll the towel, so as I'm going, I'm picking up dirt with this leading edge, and then I'm lifting it and continue to clean so that you're getting a nice, clean edge all the way across. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that now. I'm gonna go ahead and spray a little bit onto the towel. Okay, and then we'll spray the panel. Okay. 
All right, and I typically like to let that dwell a little bit just so that it gives it a chance to really absorb um, some of the contamination and really lift it up. So here we go, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and like I said, start with that leading edge and then continually roll my hand. So I'm continually picking up uh, all the dirt with a new clean section of the towel. So far, so good. Not leaving anything behind um, from what I can tell here. Now, didn't pick up these two little pieces of dirt, um, but they are on there pretty good. It's like, I don't know if it's bee droppings or honey, uh, or um, not honey, uh, bee droppings or hummingbird droppings, but something like that. And it happens all the time here in San Diego, especially when for my customers that live in um, like on a canyon, man, it does the, do these things stick like crazy. Uh, so anyways, all done. I did my initial wipe. I'm gonna go ahead and flip the towel now and buff it out. Just even though it doesn't really look like it even needs it, it looks super, super good. Wow, all right. So I'm happy. It's a great product. It feels really good. Let me go ahead and just, it's not adding like, um, it's not super, super, super hydrophobic feeling the way that uh, my favorite kind of uh, SIO2 spray is that's from Technician's Choice. I'll link that down in the description below for you guys as well. Fantastic product, it gets super slick as you're drying it off. Um, so you're getting that, all that water repellency and hydrophobic properties from that thing. This one, I don't feel it as much, but that doesn't mean that it's not doing that. Um, I would say like, in ceramic coating talk, if you're playing with like a G-Technic CSL, which is their crystal, crystal serum light, it's very slick to the touch versus some of the other brands like um, OptiCoat, for example, feels a little bit tacky, but also provides an amazing amount of protection. So that's no, not the only indicator um, is slickness, but I do like the slickness of that technician's choice. But um, the CS3 from Adams Polishes seems to be working absolutely great. Um, I'm really happy with it. It kind of, it picked everything up really easily, did a fantastic job. All right guys, so the next product I'm gonna be using is the Jax Wax Tire and Trim Gel from the Glove Box Kit. Um, so here are the tires. Uh, you can see a little bit of browning on these. These are actually new tires. I got them and then I haven't been driving the car very much. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and use this on it just straight on as it is. I'm not gonna go through the process of cleaning it first. I'm just getting, trying to get an idea of this stuff. We're gonna be using the little foam sponge applicator uh, microfiber applicator that, that we got in the box as well. This is from the rag company. And I'm just gonna pour some product onto the sponge. Oops. And how I always like to do this, I like to do that and then I like to just let it absorb in a little bit so I'm not getting too much in one spot. That'll do, at least for now. And then I'll add a little bit more just down the middle. All right, we're good to go. Let me zoom you guys in and we'll apply this to the tire. All right, guys, here we go. So, so far, great coverage. Um, not streaky at all. That's one thing with some of the water-based products is I've found, um, at least in the sprayable, if you spray it on and then wipe it, you do get a little bit of a streak. This is not streaking at all. The little microfiber um, applicator sponge from Rag Company is great because it fits into all these nice little tight spots. And once again, guys, I don't know as far as longevity goes of this product, um, but I do know that this looks absolutely fantastic. It's just doing a really great job of restoring the factory finish, kind of that factory look that you want on the tire without it um, getting too shiny and too wet looking. So I'm gonna actually gonna go ahead and apply a second coat and see if that darkens it up even more just as a test. Obviously, my uh, white wall tires, the white lettering need to be cleaned up. Um, so don't pay attention to that, but let's just go ahead and apply the secondary coat just for fun. Fill in any spots that we might've missed. Now it's funny, when I opened the box and I was actually smelling the chemicals, just trying to get an idea of if they had a strong scent to them or anything. Um, 
I didn't pick up much of a scent, but as I'm using them, I do. They're not over by, overbearing smells by any means, and they're quite, quite pleasant. This one just smells very, very clean. Um, and the other one, the CS3, smelled really, really, really good as well as I was using it. Again, not like an overly uh, fragrant smell or anything like that, just kind of subtle and really smelled good. But I really just wanted to share this box with you guys. Um, I, it was super nice of them to reach out to me and send this to me. Um, so I'm happy to kind of share their product with you guys. Again, use code DETAILGREEN when you check out. It'll get you 20% off your first box. Once again, the two products that I used that came in the box, the Jack Swax and the Adams Polish the CS3, both I seem like absolutely great products. Obviously, Jack Swax is a newer, I believe, newer brand. Um, Adams has obviously been around forever. Jay Leno's Garage is newer to the scene as well, but backed by Jay Leno, and we all know he's kind of a car nut, so um, I'm excited to use this. And then um, just the accessories that the, the box came with as well, like the, the wash mitt, the brush. I mean, this is a really quality brush. This is at least a $10 brush, 20, I mean, at, at minimum. So fantastic there. And um, yeah, that's it guys. So I hope that helps you guys. Um, if you like this video and you are interested in me kind of getting a monthly box from them every month and doing an unboxing and checking out the products, let me know down in the description below, comment down below and let me know. And uh, that's it guys, I hope that helps. Make sure you like the video, are subscribed and turn the notification bell on. I'm gonna start filming that last uh, group of soaps that I'm gonna test for the foam cannon. So that'll be coming out soon. Make sure you watch that one too. We'll see you guys on the next one, thanks.